So, the um, lesson that I'm going to go over right now is telling time, okay? To ask, what time is it? Our key question here is, que hora es? Okay? Que hora es? What is que? What? what? And then, what does order look like? Time. Time or hour. 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 Okay, and then what do you think this is? Is, is. 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 Right. Or it is, but in a question, it's what? Okay, so what hour is it or what time is it? Normally, in English, we'll say it is, and then I don't have my watch on, but we'll just tell the time, okay? So, but there are two different ways that we answer this in a full sentence, all right? Depending on the hour, you would either say es la or son las, okay? Both of those mean the same thing, okay? They're, they don't mean the same thing. They're interpreted as the same thing, okay? Except we use one only when we're referring to a singular number, and then we use the other when we're referring to a plural number, okay? So, for this one, es la una, okay? What's una? Uh, one. one. Now, we learned uno, because we're counting, uno, dos, tres, okay? In this case, though, we say una, because we said what hour is it? And in Spanish, you have nouns and adjectives all have genders, and everything has to be in agreement. Now, you looked at me crazy because I said they all have genders. Let's think about it like this. We do some of that in English. When you name a boat, typically, a boat has what kind of name? SS. Well, usually a boat is going to be named after a person. What kind of person? A woman. A woman. Okay. That's so sexy. I didn't make the rules. Okay. We just know that typically that happens. Okay. Um, so. It's the same thing, the same concept for all adjectives and nouns, okay? And we'll talk more about that later. Right now, you need to know that we use una because we're saying la, and these have to be what we call in agreement, okay? When something's in agreement, if one thing is feminine, then everything that it modifies, if you have an adjective or a pronoun is feminine, then everything that it goes with has to be feminine. If something's uh, masculine, everything has to be masculine. If you have um, something singular, then that's why we use this. That's the singular verb, meaning it is. One o'clock hour, okay? This, son last means there are, but we don't say that in English because that doesn't make sense, right? So we say it is two, three, four, five, all the way through 12, okay? So that's what we do here. Up here we say, Es la una, and then from here, you would say anywhere from dos through, what's 12? 12 oh. is um, dos. Okay, because all of those numbers are plural, okay? So, now there's a couple of rules. I'm going to ask you, number one, first and foremost, to remember that I'm a Spanish teacher, not an art teacher, okay? So my drawings are about to get really ugly. That's okay, though. All right, let's, can you guys read an analog clock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do the best that I can. Okay, now, um, with this clock, all right, it's not always, when we're telling time, is it always right on the dot, the hour? No. No, actually, 59 minutes out of that hour, it's not right on the hour, right? So you have to have, you know, have to have, blah, blah, blah. you have to know how to add minutes to tell the minute, okay? And there are a few different ways that we do this. Typically, if the minutes fall anywhere between the one o'clock minute and what is this? Uh, six. 30 minutes, okay? 
So I'm not half it. If the minutes fall anywhere here, then typically what we do is we add minutes to the hour. Okay? So this is, I'm going to put a plus sign. We add. If they fall from 31 through 59, we subtract from the hour. So I'm going to put minutes. Okay? Let me give you an example. If it is, if you ask me, que hora es, and it is 2, um, no, let's do 2, 20. 20, okay? That's a good time. 2, 20. If you said, que hora es, I'm going to say, two. son las, right? Because this is over 1, so son las, and what's 2? Dos. Dos. Now I have to add my minutes. Dos y veinte. It's the two o'clock hour and how many minutes? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. So I'm adding minutes to that hour. Okay. Now let's take minutes away from the next hour. Let's say that it's actually two forty. check out. So if it's this, then what I have to do, guys, this is different. I round up to the next hour. I'm not going to run so unless dos. What's the next hour? Uh, three. 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 So I would actually write son las tres and then since we're subtracting, menos. How many minutes is it until three? Twenty. Okay. So, if I start at the end and read this backwards, when I see minnows, it's going to say 20 till when? Three. Three. Okay? Does that make sense? Everybody's following along so far? Any questions? We're good? Thumbs up? Okay. So, now, if it's 2.30, okay? Write another one. Que hora es? Okay. So what am I going to start this with? Uh, son, son what? Las. Son las. And then dos. what hour? Dos. Dos. This is a dos. little different. She's already studied this. So here's the word that we're looking for. For the 30 minute mark. Media. Okay. Guys, on the interstate, you have two lanes going one way, two lanes going the opposite way. What's that area of grass that's in between? Uh, the, median. the median. That's in the middle, right? Between the two sets of lanes. So, which means median. If you're in math class, you guys ever found the median? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is in the middle. All right. So, the middle of the hour. So I'm like dos y media, okay? This is common, what you hear and see, to say dos y media. Could you say son las dos y treinta? Yeah, you could, okay? You're going to hear the dos y media, okay? Now, if it is 2.15, there's another word. First off, we know that 15 is what? Quince. Okay, so let me um, get over here. If it's 215, okay, we have another word. What do we call that in English? If it's 15 past the hour or 15 till the next hour? A quarter. A quarter. Who said that? Okay, good. Several of you. So, quarter. So, when we're referring to this, not to be confused, with cuatro, which means what? Four. Four. Four, but this is cuarto. Guys, spell quarter in English. Q-U-A-R-T-E-R. Okay, did these look similar? Mm -hmm. Right there in the middle? 
that's how you're not going to get them confused. Think about quarter. How do you spell it? And it's going to be spelled very similar to this. Cuatro is C-U-A-T-R-O. So the T and the R are flipped, okay? So don't get that confused. Now, if it's 215, I'm going to write what? What's the first two words? Dos. 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 Y cuarto. Okay? What if it's 245? Menos corto. Son las. Menos. Uh huh. Son las what? Uh huh. Son las tres. Because we round up to the next hour. Uh, I don't get it. Remember, it's 15 minutes till when? If it's 2:45. Oh. It's 15 three. minutes till uh, three. So we round up to the next hour. Son las tres. Menos. Cuarto, because it's a quarter till three. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Can we do another example? Mm -hmm. All right, let me give you one more. I'm gonna erase these. You guys are doing great, by the way, and following along. I hope, I hope that you really are understanding and not just like, I hope she hurries. Okay, so let's do, um, this time, it's 12.55, and I said, que hora es? There's a couple different ways we could do this. Let's do it the shorter way, instead of writing 55. So, what do we have to do? If it's anywhere from 31 to 59, what do we do? Y'all put your phones up and, and pay attention. If it's anyone from 31 to 59, what do we do? Uh, it's many Menos, which means we've got to round up to the next hour, right? So if the time is 12.55, what's the next hour? Um, one o'clock. And how do we write that? Es la una. Es la una, okay? So we'll say es la una, and then what? Menos. Menos. Cinco. Cinco. Okay, very good. What if it is um, one forty three? Son las dos menos. Uh, my brain helps always doing math. I know. I know, and I did that one on purpose. Son las dos menos. Y'all help her out. What's forty three? Is how many minutes until the next hour? Three seventeen. What seventeen? Um, Yes, yeah. siete. Good. Okay. Oops. Does that make sense, guys, on how we tell time? Yep. Okay. Now, you could, if, if you wanted to, you could say, es la una e, and then what would be 43? Uh, Wait just a second. Y'all remember 40? Look at how much we have to write. 40 y tres. That's a lot, okay, to write out and to try to remember. Whereas to me, it's easier to just round up and then subtract your minutes from the hour. Okay? So, that's in a nutshell, that's pretty much how we do time. Do you guys have any questions about this? No. Comments, concerns? All right, cool. So then there's some activities that you can work on 